Hello guys, this is Ptash and this is Botworld Adventure. We have a brand new update and you know what? I'm very, very excited. So I'm actually working a bit outside of recording videos. So I didn't have the chance to check out the update as it went out. But just recently, like just today, I think, I went into the Discord of Botworld and I saw the new announcement that there is a new update and it's something I didn't expect and I'm very happy about. We've got a big balance, rebalance of the game and entire game. And you know what? I'm, I'm very excited. Why? Uh, first of all, I'm a big fan of actually big uh, balance changes in the games because I, I just like trying out new things. You could notice that I play this way where I don't always follow the meta, although I kind of do because you have to often, but where wherever I can, whenever I can, I just go with something funny and something you know interesting to play, not only the best and the best and the best, right? And moreover, I, I don't like balance changes for the sake of shifting the meta only. But I, I think that Botworld really, really needed that because the game, maybe for new players, it was fine. But for someone who played for more, it was so stale that the gameplay was so predictive. Like everything was about ultimates and recharge boosters. Um, and basically other boosters weren't that powerful. Mm, there was there was also heavy uh, you know shift towards the the control abilities like uh, freezing and stuff um, they were very powerful too so it kind of you know was somewhat stale to me and now we have this and the best thing about this is that I have no idea what it is like I have no um, yeah no clue what changed I didn't read a single comment even under a video because there was none about that update actually <laughs> so thanks to that and i didn't read in discord what the players think so i'm kind of worried if i have to be fair about bot world devs because usually community doesn't like these changes i love such changes uh, i don't know if they will work out on or not because it can be for the worse i i i, I think but it can be for the better and usually it's to me for the better because the game is more interesting if something changes like that. But usually for the community it's not good because players, for example, spend a lot of money to get the bots they want. And what happens after that? Well, suddenly the, the bots they spend money on uh, are worse. So it's very, very difficult often for the devs to do such changes. And that's why I love bot world devs because they aren't scared of that. And I have to respect that. Okay, so let's get to the game. We have a season pass, balance update and legendary booster. And let's see about this season update. And someone already says that the game really nerfed him. We will see what the changes are. And I wonder how to check that. Well, I think I'm just going to check. So the alt cooldowns are the same. It's exactly the same. This is not so good. And well, maybe I thought of way too much changes actually, because uh, it was described like it's a very big balance change. Um, but if, uh, oh, I have to buy the uh, mayoral pass. But if the boosters don't change, and I think that the have to be fair, um, I think that a booster recharge should be nerfed to like 15% or maybe even 10% because it's just really that strong to me. Maybe if you have all legendary boosters, there are better options on paper at least. But you know, for the regular gameplay, I feel like these are a bit problematic, a bit too strong. But all right, so no changes here. Maybe there was no changes to, to balance of the boosters. Maybe it's all within the uh, bots. We will see. All right, let's get these guys. And I have heavy steel. I just don't like these red, red dots. So I will quickly cut it until I get rid of all, all red, dots, red dots because I just hate them. And here we have no red dots anymore. Is there a red dot? Okay, let's collect the re reward. No red dots. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Let me uh, make a team. Hmm. I want fork. I want phantom. Let's maybe do something. Um, 
it's quite kind of good okay it's kind of good team like i i want that a variet variety team you know so we have like assassin we have support we have sniper we we don't only have splasher but besides uh, each bot is different type so it's great it's great all right so let me take a look so I, I think that fork might be a bit nerfed when it comes to damage and I have no idea, you know, about um, what what changed because I will I won't be checking uh, the v the wiki, you know, because um, I just don't want to. Uh, I like wild fork. The reason I don't want to check uh, wiki is that if I see like this bot has 10% less health or something, I will be biased. I, I want to see the f like feel of the game if it changed or not. So I I, I won't be checking that. Bit has. Wow, he has such a big DPS, don't you don't you think? Like I don't remember him having so much. He has not that Wow, how is this possible? Like look Fork has 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 hmm. I wonder how it calculates Fork is bad example because I don't know how the game calculates poison, so it might be lowered, you know? Okay, so he has pretty big DPS. So if two beats fight each other, they will defeat themselves like in like 10 seconds about right if they have 25,000 health and almost 2k uh, a second this will be quick so i think the the aim is for the battles to be quicker and bullseye has crazy health as he does i think is it's the same i don't know about the dps but but it seems high as as it used as it always been and brute seems normal to me maybe a bit more damage Mm, Chainer also seems normal. Um, I don't know. I don't know about these changes, to be fair. Where are the changes? We will pur pursue the changes, okay? So let me just, you know what? I would check that in Arena, but I don't want to really, because I don't like Arena. Whenever there is PvP, you have to play a meta build, sort of. Or at, at least something very, very good, strong. Mm, and I don't feel like doing that right now. I just have to uh, want to have some fun, you know, with the game. And let me see an example battle right here. And after that, we will get to the danger zone. And it's quite good because last time I recorded a danger zone run. So we will see how much harder it is. So far, I don't see big changes, you know. Mm, maybe, maybe we'll see now. I feel like the, the enemies take a lot of damage, so maybe the damage was, was like increased for the bots. Because they, they really die fast, although they have two levels um, less than my bots. It shouldn't be such a big difference to me. Hmm, interesting. This guy will be good to, to check out. I thought, to be fair, when I saw that, of, of, of much, much bigger changes. But I didn't see abilities, and that's interesting. But, but because maybe abilities are much... Hmm, no, I don't think that the cooldown of abilities is, is increased or something like that for the bots. I don't see much changes so far. What do you think, guys? Did you notice these changes? Maybe it's much shorter? Oh, so I see. Now the cooldown for the same ability is much much higher oh that's cool i have to say but what's the point of hmm so so we have cooldown on, on abilities how can i check that i know there is one new ability so i will try to to get it in this video too or is it a legendary booster i don't know at this point okay so let me use some some again Huh, so it seems to me like it's just a nerf to players, right? Oh, yes, there is cooldown. So, so I see, it, I have to say it kind of, I, I know it's a nerf for, for players, you know? But it was kind of needed, if I have to be fair. Uh, and why is that? It, it was just stupid when... Um, there was some uh, <clears throat> very strong abilities like hypercharge, you remember, uh, hypercharging a bot. You had this ice wall right now, 
where you could spam it and it was just so strong that it didn't make sense to use any other ability. Uh, vanish is also one of these abilities, right? And I, I feel like I will try to pause the battle. I feel like it's a needed change, if I ha have to be fair. Although it nerfs the, the player, right? We will be weaker against uh, like re regular enemies. We will be overall weaker and the game is a bit harder. So I paused and I see that this ultimate ability has 12 seconds cooldown. Mm, have to say, this will need further balancing because there's no way it's worth, uh, worth having Ice Wall right now. I much rather have abilities like this one that I can always use and I don't have to worry about the cooldown, right? Um, than having like, you know, this, this big ability that takes 12 seconds is al al always, always, uh, often it's um, entire battle. So, okay, uh, knowing that it's changed mostly for that, I don't know, maybe something else too. Let's get to that danger zone and let me uh, see what is now uh, good. So we have all of that and weird to me is that hasty ground doesn't have cooldown. Does it mean I, I can spam it whenever I want? All right, so I, I just can spam it if I choose to. 12 seconds, to me, 10 seconds would be okay. Maybe even, yeah. Like the, the game, the developers had to, mm, you know, remember about the, the fact that you also need to re recharge that energy, right? All right, so. So it wouldn't really make sense to have five seconds cooldown on, on a black hole because someone could uh, could recharge it that fast. So if you have, if you want a real cooldown, you need to set it like to seven. So it's a uh, real cooldown is like six or seven seconds on a glacier path and black hole, which isn't that bad, but I think it's a bit too much. Mm. But you know what? I overall, I think I like it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't get it in, in one go because uh, it, it will be difficult. Oh no, shield field. Shield field was so good, guys. Yeah, but you know what? I, I feel like on average, Corrode doesn't have one. That's interesting because it's quite a strong ability. So everything that doesn't... Oh my, hypercharge. No, that's that's way too much. It, it should be. Hypercharge wasn't that strong anymore. Like. It's already free cost. Like it shouldn't even have, in my opinion, a cooldown at all. Maybe three seconds only. So you cannot spam it like all the time if you have mo more energy, right? But it doesn't make sense to me a bit. Hmm. Knockback, I... F I have to say knockback doesn't make sense. It's not that strong at all uh, in order and Lightning Rod, for example, it's not a weak ability, it's on the weaker side, but it has almost no cooldown if you don't have like instant, um, you know, uh, energy at the start of the battle. And Poison Trail, to me, it, so it seems a bit, you know, strong, so it's, yeah, as I thought, they didn't, in my opinion, get this in, in one go. Unstable Plasma is a pretty, pretty strong ability, if I have to say, and it doesn't have a cooldown, almost. Mm, it's quite, quite interesting. A lot of weaker, weaker um, Gust. Gust with no cooldown will be quite powerful. All right, so what I think about all of that. I definitely want Gust, I think, because it's just versatile and yeah, Particle Storm is useless, absolutely useless. Vanish will be good in certain situations, I feel like, but it's not so good in my opinion. Hmm, I think I want Shield Field. Because 6 seconds, it's like 2 seconds cooldown, shouldn't be that, that difficult. Poison Missile has no cooldown, that's crazy. It's very strong in my opinion. No, it's not new legendary booster, so there is no new legendary ability. All right. Uh, what else? Hmm. 
I feel like it's pretty good, but I have doubts if I need supercharge Chaos Translocator. I mean, I can use it both offensively and defensively. It's pretty good. But then again, Gust and Supercharged uh, Chaos Translocator. That's a bit too much, but can you have too much of, you know, um, movement on the battlefield? I don't think so. So yeah, I, I think that's it. Like Glacier Path, okay, it has a big cooldown, but you often uh, use it once, right? Ball Lightning though, it's quite strong, I have to say. And it has almost no cooldown. Ball Lightning is, is very strong, I have to say. Mm. Maybe it's even better than Glacier Path, thanks to the fact that you don't have a uh, cooldown almost. Hmm. Let's get it, okay? Let's get it just for fun. We will see. I'm a bit worried, but we will see. We go to the scrapyard. I wonder, hmm, maybe something better. I, I think Fork is good enough, to be fair. I have to play more because I don't have much bots, much good bots. Oh no. Yeah, I have to play more. Okay, guys, I, I promise. I will try to find time, okay? All right, so let's get to the uh, danger zone ready. It's ready and it's the there's epic chest. All right, I have one more thing to check and it's, you know, it's gadgets. I want an emergency reaper pack, you know, because I, I think it's quite good. Um, and I don't want bot pack, bot pack overclocker. I, I think it's just not that good, you know? Although it would be interesting to check it with the new changes, um, but I, I want that epic chest. I didn't get one for a long time, so let's just get it, okay? So let's get to the scrapyard. Let's start. I hope I didn't forgot anything. I forgot. Yes, I, I did forgot. Hmm. I did forget to check other boosters, you know? I don't think they changed though. Hmm, all bots health by 10%, I think it was like that. Hmm. 10 crit, it was like that. 10% damage increase. Well, it was, I think it was 8% damage increase. But I'm not sure. Hmm, there could be some changes, to be fair. That's the same, that's, that's I think nerfed. Interesting. This is the same, and this is the same. All right, I, I think not much has changed, okay? So let's get uh, to the to the juicy, juicy stuff. We have a chest which is quite close. I have to say it's quite close. We don't have anything blocking us here. So the path is quite uh, reasonable. We have gadget station, which is also works like repair station. So if we get there, we have an additional uh, Reaper. Okay, okay, let's let's proceed. I won't try to avoid this guy because you know what? Uh, it's just you know hard sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's play it like that. That was a good good fight. Oh my! I, I feel like they they somehow increased the damage of bots I don't know because I don't I would have to remember exactly what was the damage on uh, damage of, of, of these guys beat to me he's just crazy strong like he has so much DPS what happened to him and oh he it's a regular attack and this is like it doesn't say how much Cooldown is about the same. And this is all the time almost. That's cool. Oh, because he also increases the damage of the bots near him. Bit is really strong, I have to say. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, oh no, no, no. I can't fight them. They are so, just so, so strong. I need to get rid of them the fastest way possible. I don't I just can't. Okay, we go, got rid of one and now we will jump to the to the last one. No, don't don't don't. Oh, I wanted to use an ability. I have to say most of the time you don't even use abilities, so is it the problem? 
<laughs> it's probably is a still problem. Oh no, why how you gonna blah blah Catching my breath. I don't want to fight him, it's not worth, right? Okay, so I decided to fight them. I hope Brute doesn't die instantly, but we have to just go with the regular combo. Yeah, it's pretty d damn good. Like that, that beat buff of the damage with with <laughs> with um, how do you call him? Brute is just so crazy. Uh, yeah, so it's looking all right as of now, but I don't. I I just I just refuse. Okay, I can fight them. It's fine. KOs should be pretty okay. Because they are melee. Shouldn't be that bad. Beat is so strong, I just realized how strong he is. That's like infinite damage. And he also stuns everyone for the entire time. So it's quite good. Alright. Alright. As of now, you don't really get to use these abilities uh, in my place. But, you know... I know that a lot of people don't have um, level 30 bots, for example, which definitely helps. Uh, so, yeah. Alright. Oh, I, I thought it will hit me. It hit him. I will fight that dog because, first of all, I don't like dogs. And second of all, I had to fight someone because, you know, it was a tough situation. Okay, now I feel like we will... Um, hmm, that's tough because he has like... Oh no! What? How? He didn't grab anyone. That was so bad. So I see that the... Yeah, I feel like the, the bots are more squishy right now. Uh, did you see how quickly this, these long shots, even though they were much lower level, they, they quickly just, you know, almost destroyed my trainer, which is, which is a shame, you know. He has 35k HP. It's, it's not an easy task, and look how much I, I've lost uh, of HP. That was something, I have to say. All right. Hmm. Come on. Oh, no, it's a dog. Oh, I will teleport. Do I want to teleport? Oh, I think I do. Do we teleport or not? That's a question. He won't get to me. They're just, this is just stupid at this point. Oh... My, that's hard. Let's get rid of that guy, at least. Yes, that's that's super nice. But look how much damage my trainer is taking. It's like he's not a... Uh... He's not a oh my tank anymore at all. Yes, that's super good. That shield field. But where is my damage? What? I didn't have damage there. Hmm. All right. That was unfortunate. You know. All right. So do we want this guy here? Hmm. I do. I think because there is a high chance I will get. Oh. No. Maybe later, indeed. So what do we want to do here? I didn't summon my pulse. Uh, so let's just do that and maybe they will, uh, you know, buy me time. Where do we go, though? Uh, I could go there and grab that green chest, but I don't much care about that. So it's I went in a good way, I think. We go down. Should I fight this guy? I, I don't feel like I should. 
Oh, and he he fell under the the world. That was that is good. Oh, that was so lucky. Damn, we are doing good. I will fight him. I think I just. Oh, I didn't have to fight him because it's not the. Oh, damn! Why did I do that? Oh, it's so bad. Oh no. Holy day. At least they are melee, so I will have a shield for them. Alright. Bullseye is gone. Like, I, I think the damage was increased. Like, it's just so strong. Okay, let's just give, give them the shield. That was a good choice to give them the shield. Oh, dang. Wow. He one shot my my bots. That brute was just destroyed, absolutely destroyed. I feel like also the poison isn't as strong, but I don't know. All right, so we have to use emergency repair pack. It's like it's only two. It's only two, not three. All right. I think I just completely wasted my health here because I didn't even need to get here. Hmm. Let me see. I want to fight this. Um... Yes, I wanted to fight this because they will open the path for me. Hmm. What do we do? I think I wait for the shield. Yeah. That was good. That was pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right. But I can imagine how hard it has to be for, for players who had, uh, for example, uh, lower level bots and, you know, counted on spamming some ability, right, to, to, to get stronger. That's definitely the case. Oh, damn, we have... I don't know what swords. Uh, I'm so scared of uh, these... Uh, yeah, I, I need to use mine here. Maybe even two or something. Is the question is mine even that good? Because if you if if enemies are much more squishy, right? They might be just, you know, fine. And they might be dead be before they move, right? And they sort of did, right? So here's the thing. Maybe I it's so weird to me because I have no idea, no confirmation. I completely do, do this blind. I, I, I have no idea, you know, uh, so um, what changed exactly? I, I, I only guess. So, yeah, it's quite hard to me. Um, but I feel like the game is much faster, like the bots are squishier in general and yeah. All right, so about this guy, I feel like I will fight him. I don't have to fight Kyo, Kyo. so let me uh, bait him. And he got this one, okay. And I want to bait him for another one, like here. And now it should be fine. Maybe I shouldn't really be that, you know, how do you say that, greedy. Because the, this guy, he has level 33 boss. I can easily lose it. Like, now I probably can't, right? But if... If I use less abilities, right? And that was clean. Uh, but yeah, I feel like with one mine, for example, I could easily lose. Like, if, if that level 34... Um, bullseye, oh my, how much damage he has to do. That's, that would be crazy just, just thinking about it. And we have the epic chest, so what? Hmm. What are my thoughts? It's 33 minutes. 
Oh my, I think I have to end here. Uh, but I sort of want to, to show how much I could get. Poison missile. That's not very good to me, guys. I would very much like an essence, but okay. Uh, so, guys, it's way too long. What do you think? Uh, I only noticed that the maybe bots are a bit squisher, but I don't really know. So I, I guess the damage to bots, like damage of bots were, was increased, but I'm not 100% uh, sure, right? So it's only guessing. And yeah, the obvious change is the cooldowns. And I feel like it's a good change. I know it might be, you know, mm, how do you say that difficult or, or something like that? Um, to get nerfed again and I'm very like sorry for the guys who, who try to, for example, complete the, the uh, exterminators but struggle with, with the changes. We get weaker and weaker. I, like bots, first of all, were much stronger than um, bandits. Like maybe not done, but overall much stronger because of a chainer change alone. And um, yeah, so it generally is not looking too good to us. Just all the time, you know, we get punched. <laughs> but I feel like uh, yeah, the changes overall to. <clears throat> To these abilities are quite good because you have to admit uh, it was pretty bad that uh, you could spam one ability it was sort of stupid just, just simply put right that you could spam some ability and you had like no choice really because it was so so strong that you either spammed this or this it didn't really enable much play styles so i feel like it's a very good change mm. Am I disappointed that there is no more changes to bots, for example, stats and so on? Not really. I didn't expect that to happen and it didn't. So I'm a bit indifferent because um, I got lucky here because I didn't really feel like bots needed the changes, right? I felt like boosters need, need change and this is something I would change definitely. Um, I just hate dogs. I absolutely hate despise dogs in this game. Okay. And yeah. So I definitely would change boosters. That's something I would change. Mm, that wasn't uh, worth getting. All right, but yeah, uh, overall these changes aren't as big as I thought they would be. Um, and it's fine, I guess. I, uh, I don't know if there will be further changes or not. I, I think they are positive overall, but yeah, some, uh, some, uh, some players might be a bit angry about that. Uh, so let's just open this chest too. And that will be it, guys. Uh, I've successfully went into the danger zone. I'm quite ha happy with my uh, treasures, you know. And yeah, the, the game feels better. I can tell you that. It feels better, but it's to me, right? I have full uh, team of level 30 bots, so maybe it's only to me. Maybe some uh, player players who don't have that many bots, they feel different. So it can, might be definitely the case. But to me, the game feels better. The, the chances are good. This is only the first impression, we will see later. Uh, so far, thanks for watching guys and yeah, see you next time.